<laughs> okay, you can come a little closer. All right, so we're back. Uh, we are here with Agnes, Bernard, this is Sister Anna, and Josh is at the controls this time. And we're going to be talking about building our own worm compost bin. So we just saw a video over the last few hours, and I'm going to say literally hours, right? <laughs> a quick video on how to make our own worm composting uh, situation. Now, what's some of the good things about having worms break down your compost? Um, a good thing about having worms break down the compound is that we get better soil and healthier soil, and they produce a liquid called, um, what you call it, basically tea, and we can use it, mix that with the water so we get um, better plants from our water and healthier soil. That's right. So we're building soil. We're making soil, right? And worms are great partners. When we have, we have a lot of worms in our plots, and worms are a natural tiller. That's why we don't have to till so much, because they actually break down things in the soil. So when you see a lot of earthworms in your, in your plots, you got some good stuff. And we have some good stuff. What did you get from the video, Agnes, as I grabbed some of our ingredients? That quick video. What can we not put in with the worms? What? stuff they don't like um so they don't like meat dairy anything that um anything that like would smell if it goes bad they do like um vegetable peels and fruit peels and things like that okay good and there were some layers too so bernard you were telling us very nicely what those layers are um the first layer contains the food which the worms can eat and break down. The second layer contains soil that the worms have broken down from eating the food. And the third layer is that liquid I was talking about, which can be considered worm tea and goes good with the water when we're um, planting these plots and keeps the soil healthy. So we're gonna create some of our layers here. We're gonna continue to add it. So it's like a sandwich almost like a worm lasagna. That's corny, right? <laughs> we also, we have our soil. We're gonna put our food scraps at the bottom, which I did bring a few food scraps from salad that I made last night. And we have our worms. Big worms, Canadian crawlers. So we're gonna see how these guys do. Now we may see some eggs develop from the worms and that way they will continue to basically grow. At a certain point, we'll separate the uh, castings from the worms. Worms, do they like sunlight? No. No. They don't like heat either. They don't like heat. So what's a good temperature for them? Um, 24 Celsius. 24 Celsius, which is what in Fahrenheit? Like 75 degrees. Right, right. So we want to keep it. We want to keep it at that temperature. Do they like the cold? Mm, not that much. They do, They like basically room temperature. Right, right. Very good. Very good. So they're almost like babies. We got to take care of them like that. So I put in some food scraps. The other layer was what, Bernard? Um, the soil. Wait, okay. yeah, the soil. Okay, so you want to put a handful of soil in, Agnes? You, got it. you can use my gloves. A little bit more? Yeah, let's put a little bit more in. Okay, I think that'll work. And then we got some paper that I ripped up real quick. And the paper serves as what? It, we just talked about it. Um, what do you call it? Compost, basically? Um, carbon? Yes, yeah, say that one more time. Uh, it serves as carbon? Yes, yes, we need a little bit of that. I'm gonna throw some more green stuff in there. Grass clippings could go in too. So we're gonna ask if they can hold back some grass clippings. 
All right, so let's see what these guys look like. And I got these at the the uh, convenience store right around the corner. They had a whole stack of them. Wow, look at that. They're pretty big. Nice size, right? Yes. All right, so they're going to do some work. So we're just going to put them in. And we can add just a little bit of water, a little bit just to moisten everything. But we're good to go. We'll leave them outside, and I think we're good. So that's our easy worm compost. Give us a couple of weeks. We'll have some nice castings that we can put in our plot to strengthen our vegetables. So that's our lesson for today. You can do this at home. Uh, make sure you drill in some holes on the side. We'll set it, this one, right inside here so we can have that nice compost tea. So join us next time for another lesson from Tapley, Tapley Court Apartments. And try this at home. Bye. Bye.